All right, everyone. Welcome back to the Meet Us in the Ring podcast. It is your girl, Mary, the hero, as always, with Maddie oh, over there. Uh, I will literally never get that right a hundred times. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, if I sound congested, sorry, guys, because I am. So we'll just ignore that for today. <laughs> Allergy right. season, man. How are you, Maddie? I'm pretty good. It's very hot out today. Probably like mm. the hottest day of the year so far. So that's fun, I guess. I don't Love know. Love that for you. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, like I said, I'm congested and I'm having some some like some back pain and stuff, but we're pushing through. It is what it is. But life I is keep, lifing. Well, and like I keep telling myself, I'm like, all right, if Becky Lynch can do a full on match with strep throat, then I can and go a to fever. Work. Yeah. I can go to work with congestion and some back pain, you know? I feel that. That's it girl so, behavior. Even though Becky you know, even though we're not Becky stands, uh, she's still inspiration. Yes. But I want to talk about a few things today. Um, as you guys can see from the thumbnail and from the title of the video, we're going to be talking about the draft, which I am super excited about. Um, I want to address something really quickly. Um, if you guys have not seen the video that a person made... Um, Someone made a video saying that wrestling is still a guy's thing. And I know that it's rage bait and that we shouldn't even give him the time of day. And that's why we're not going to drop that username. So. Oh, yeah. Abso absolutely not. Do not go watch his video. Watch uh, Lana's, Marissa's, uh, Axel, Tyler's <laughs> videos of stitching him. Do not watch his video. Um, basically, he was saying stuff about Samantha Irvin um, crying when Cody Rhodes won and how she like choked up when she was doing the announcement that he was the new champion and saying that wrestling is still a guy's thing and that there shouldn't be crying in wrestling and <laughs> wrestling fans shouldn't cry. I don't know. Um, first of all, let me just say <clears throat> my t-shirt, cry about it. Very. Because that is such I don't want to say anything too um, mean, but that is bitch behavior. It is. And there are a few people in wrestling that I will always go to bat for. You guys know that I always go bat for Nikki Bella, Alexa Bliss, and Samantha Irvin. Like, literally, she is in that tier of I will always go to bat for her. She is incredible. She is incredible at her job. She is an incredible person. Like the fact that people are so mad about her crying because Cody won the title. Like when there was millions of people crying around the world mm -hmm. when that happened. It's just, it's still mind blowing that we're still dealing with this in 2024. And that's all I want to say about it is y'all are just haters and Samantha's goaded. I don't, <clears throat> I don't understand why some men continuously want to ice out women from such an amazing community. Like mm -hmm. if you can't get a woman and you're single forever, just say that. Like mm -hmm. you don't have to be doing all this just because you're insecure and sad whenever you look in the mirror. That's not our problem. You know, go to therapy, babe, because we don't give a fuck. <laughs> Yeah. Mary was a lot was, like, nicer than to... me, but like seeing that <clears throat> video, I was just like, dude, you're a loser. That's all you needed to say. You're and a loser. he was trying, he was fighting for his life in Lana's comments. I and didn't see that say, video, but I'm sure he was. And he was trying to say that men shouldn't cry in general. And everybody's like, what are uh, you talking about? Like, uh, that is something what? you can work out in therapy, babes. If and if you think that yeah you're you're a loser you're an actual loser <laughs> yeah so that's, really that's all odd. I want to say about that um, yeah. if if wrestling was a guy's thing there wouldn't be women's wrestlers if wrestling was a guy thing uh, there wouldn't be wrestling fans who are women if wrestling was a guy's thing we wouldn't have a female ring announcer yeah but that is what it is so you have no impact. Like, I'm talking to this person. You have no yeah. impact 
on the wrestling world. So just stop trying to act like you're talking for everybody because nobody agrees with you. So nope. Moving on. Yeah, moving on to things actually <laughs> worth talking about. <laughs> and you know what? This is a wrestling, a women's wrestling podcast. We're gonna talk about women's wrestling. So first, I want to start by um, talking about Mercedes Monet getting attacked on AEW. What's happening, Maddie? Give me the tea. That video, bro. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't see it. Give me the tea. So Mercedes was doing this like backstage interview thing. And then the lights go off. Somebody's like, you can hear this girly getting beat up. Um, I kind of just assumed it was Julia Hart, but it was probably Willow. <clears throat> I think they're setting up that angle for maybe a triple threat, which as much as I love Mercedes, I don't really think that's fair to Willow. She kind of earned this opportunity way before, or not way before, but before Mercedes even like came around. And mm -hmm. then when the lights came back on, Mercedes is just on the floor and she's a... Uh, <clears throat> She's making some noises that oh I that we can't really like repeat and I sure as hell don't want to mimic but <laughs> okay if y'all in chat saw you know exactly I know Caden knows what I'm talking about y'all know exactly <laughs> what I'm talking about but um yeah don't like if you listen to it and close your eyes like your mind will go places <laughs> oh no do you oh, think she do you Sorry. think it was just like an accident that like she just she was trying to like make noises of being in pain but then yeah it was it, something it didn't, else and it just came i mean mercedes was doing that like even in wwe but like it was just it was just strange like mm. yeah i mean i guess it's kind of hard to like unless they actually hurt you you know i feel like it's hard to like make those noises as if you've been beat up so, you know, accidents happen and uh, Mercedes, Mercedes can bounce back. She'll be fine. I'm excited but. that she's going after the women's mid card title instead of going mm -hmm. straight for the women's title. Um, Wait, I love that. Yeah, I think that's great. That gives Thunder Rosa a chance to maybe take it away from Tony. I don't know. We'll see. But at the end of the day, I really do hope that we get that timeless Tony Storm, Mercedes Monet <laughs> matchup because oh, I want to see that so bad. I want to see that so bad. Did they have matches in WWE, Sasha? Yeah, Tom? I think they faced each other on SmackDown. They were a tag team, like only for like two matches or something. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it'd be interesting with Tony's new character, her like evolution and all that. Mariah May being an interesting factor in that. Like, I'm mm -hmm. excited. That's really cool that she's going after a mid card title instead of just going straight for a you know a world title, which. To be fair, if she wanted to, she could. Yeah. <laughs> if she I, wanted to, she could. And but, she'll get uh, there eventually, but I like that they're starting her off like with the mid-card, because that makes sense yeah. to me. Still waiting for a mid-card in WWE, so... No, I know. What the heck? We got one in NXT, though, so, you know. Yeah, hopefully we'll get there, but um, <clears throat> another person who got attacked this week, Rhea. Liv attacking Rhea backstage, honestly? Yes. I, like, got scared for a second because she chucked that chair at Rhea, like, right in the back of the head. And I'm like, I think it okay. hit Rhea's head, too. I was a little I'm like, worried. okay, concussion? Like, no, yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, Liv started beating up on her, and then Dom came out to her aid. And I'm excited for this because if they're going to do this feud, I don't, I don't know if I want it to be at Backlash. Like, no. I, I would want it at like SummerSlam. SummerSlam. <laughs> that, yeah. But that's just me being a Liv Morgan stan, you know? She's also someone that I will always go to bat for. Is 100%. Morgan. Except for that finisher. I love the Oblivion. Like, girl, you're so wrong for that. <laughs> I'm tired of it. It's just not like. It's not. It's certainly not believable to beat Rhea with, that's for sure. Well, yeah, I think Liv would have to pull out some stuff that she either doesn't do often. Or that she has never done before. I think she would have to kind of get creative yeah. in order to take Rhea down. But I absolutely think that this feud should happen at SummerSlam and that Liv should take the title off of Rhea. That'd be iconic. Yeah. yeah, I don't really see anybody. I mean, a lot of people want Bianca to be the one to dethrone Rhea, which mm -hmm. I mean, I love Bianca. I'd be fine with that. The only problem with that is that we would have to have Rhea as a champion 
for a much longer time. And I'm kind of over it. Like, this rain has been very lackluster. That's why I'm, I was so glad when EO's rain was over. Um, I don't know. And the fact that she's going to beat Bianca's record when her reign has not been nearly as good or impactful bothers me. But <laughs> whatever. Still not as good as her, so. Oh! Oh! <laughs> no, but, I mean, I think the last couple of um, title defenses that she had have kind of been better. Like, I think this yeah. year, as opposed to last year, when kind of everything was about the Judgment Day as a whole, rather than just her, um, I think they've done that separation a little bit, and I think it's working. Um, but yeah, I I really want Liv to to be the one to take the title off her. I think it would be full circle for their story, and I I just would want Liv to have a good title reign and win clean, so that nobody can say anything. Give her at least a hundred days this time for sure. Like eighty days, come on. Yeah, I don't know. But, yeah, I hope that she, her head didn't get hurt that bad. But, yeah. but Liv, Liv went hard on that. Um, but speaking of Bianca, okay, Bianca and Jade as a tag team, I'm sorry, no one would beat them. No one. Nope. It's, it's, it's like Nia and Shayna all over again. To where, yeah. like, if Bianca and, Liv, and, I almost said Liv, and Jade get the titles from the Kabuki Warriors, that's it. Like, they're going to be the tag team champions forever it's gonna be our roman reigns-esque title run <laughs> okay no no don't wake that no, up I'm, I'm just i'm kidding but <clears throat> i wouldn't want that because obviously at you know at some point they're gonna face each other that just is yeah. what it is but for now i love this direction for bianca i think adding adding this to her what what word am i trying to think of? accolades yeah I, th I think that it's fine for right now um and their ring gear, oh my yeah, uh, is stunning. Amazing. I I love the coordination. I love their I love their whole vibe. And then Naomi beating Tiffany Stratton for yeah. a title shot for with Bailey. I'm and they, here for um, it. I'm here they for brought it. back Tiffany's old theme, which I thought was random. Oh, I didn't like, notice. Yeah, so that was her theme, like an NXT, and then when they changed it to the "It's Tiffy Time" one. Obviously, people didn't like it. So when she came out on SmackDown, mm. she came out to her old one. And in my opinion, like, cool. But, like, also, then what was, what was the point? <laughs> like, it's, I, I don't know. Def Rebel have been committing some war crimes lately. <laughs> for real. Yeah, I mean, I think they probably just wanted to try something new for her when she come, came up to the main roster. But I, I think that's cool that they went back to her NXT one. Yeah, I liked it so much better anyway. So I think a lot of people did. I mean, I liked the Tiffy time just because it's fun to say. It is, but I don't know. Maybe they could incorporate that into the uh, NXT one. That would be cool, but we'll see. Yeah. Um, how did, <clears throat> Really quickly, this isn't one of our topics for today, but how did you feel about... Um, how do you feel about Natty versus Roxanne in NXT? A lot of people were trying to say, oh, she criticized Becky for doing that, and now she's doing... It's like, well, no, because Natalia is there solely to put over other women she's not going to win a Period. championship she's not going Period. to that's not why she's there and yes becky put over lyra but that's the only person she put over i don't want to hear anybody say she put over tiffany because she didn't she did no. not no. um and that's fine like that's okay like i'm not criticizing her for that but at the end of the day natalia is there solely to put over the women of nxt she won like a match, whatever. I don't think it was clean regard. I don't I don't remember. Don't quote me on that. But that's why she's there to put over other women. Becky mm -hmm. was not there to do that. So, you know, there's a difference. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about <clears throat> this Roxanne heel <laughs> thing that's going on. I don't know how I feel about it because it's just she, not convincing to me. She but. needs to stop. Like, she comes out with the entrance and she's making all these faces and it's like, mm -hmm. girl, please stop. It, you're doing too much. Like, some people are very natural as a heel. Roxanne mm -hmm. is not one of them, <laughs> unfortunately. I think she's doing good. Like, it's not horrible. But you know, stop with all the faces when you first come out because, like, some women are so good as a heel and a face. Like, Becky Lynch, she's very natural as a heel and as a face. Um, yeah. I think a lot of other women are. Becky's just the first one that came to mind. But 
Yeah, Roxanne, like her promos, Roxanne have been a lot better. They've been pretty good, but the only, yeah, my only complaint is when she comes out, she's like, and I'm like, girl, yeah. stop. You be doing too much. She's trying too hard to get <clears throat> to get the audience. I'm sorry. <clears throat> my throat. She's trying too hard to get the audience to hate her. And it's, yeah. And it's just coming off really fake. Yeah. But there's definitely people who are more natural heels. Like Tiffany, she's a natural. Mandy, she was a natural. <sighs> like the, the Rhea. I mean, even yeah. though she's a face, but <laughs> she's supposed to be a heel, but. There's just people who are natural at it, and there's some people who have to work hard. But <clears throat> I'm still sad that Lyra lost. <laughs> was that at Stand and Deliver? Yeah. I was um I was on the train on my way to Philly and I was watching Stand and Deliver and then I was not happy. I mean, like I am excited in a sense. Like I'm not mad about it because I like Roxanne a lot and I think she's great and I think it's great that she's a two-time champion but i just wasn't ready for lyra to lose that soon man i love miss valkyria she really grew on me she really did i hope that's not the last time she's champion for sure yeah but i think they've been trying to get back to roxanne as champion so it is what it is yeah lyra uh, had a decent reign it's fine yeah switching gears to a promotion that we don't really talk about that much tna slash impact i'm not sure what to call it anymore <laughs> uh, tna i think okay well <clears throat> i'm hoping that we don't get um uh i wouldn't even try playing any videos at this point <sighs> but, it, but it's tna i'm like is it are they gonna be that strict about it i think I just, they are a little copyright happy I just want you to see this clip. Oh, I won't. How play long it is it? I'm I'm literally gonna play like ten seconds. All right, let's give it a try, and then guys, be prepared. We might have to come back if we get, <laughs> <laughs> and we won't log out this time if no. <laughs> if it happens. Oh, okay, God, I just okay. like literally. Actually, we'll make it like five seconds. Literally, I just want you all to right, see this. Right. I, I just want you to see this part. Okay. And you know how I know that? I know that because I've already beaten you. And I've beaten your boyfriend. <laughs> no! Looking for a great organ. <laughs> that was a sign from God. Are you serious right now? Oh my God, I'm so livid. She was about to say the best part. Oh my God, I'm so mad. Damn, that's crazy. The last part she says, as a matter of fact, I've beaten your boyfriend's wife. Oh, Chelsea. Yeah, and I was like, oh my god. I thought it yeah, was the, fantastic. Yeah, the relationship that Matt and Steph have like in wrestling is weird to me. So like kayfabe, they're supposed to be in a relationship? I have no idea, honestly. Like, I, I mean, I've either. seen them kind of like just you know what's the word um dominating the indies together but yeah i don't know i feel like th in chat maybe chat could tell us but I i've never seen them like act like they're in a relationship so i mm -hmm. don't know maybe he's just kind of like her her like her muscle you know what i mean like yeah they're just that type of thing. yeah but to say like i've already beaten you i've beaten your boyfriend and i've beaten your boyfriend's wife like <laughs> slay the house down i love Jordan and then Grace. And then later on, she said, because I'm the juggernaut, bitch. And and then <laughs> Matt was like, don't say that to her. And she was like, I wasn't talking to her. <laughs> and I like just died. Oh, my gosh. She was so good. Yeah. I, Jordan Grace. She's been she's been like on my radar since I saw her. I'm, I'm trying to think what it was. It was during rick flair's like retirement match thing mm. that he did yeah because she had she had a match on that card and ever mm. since then i'm like all right i see you girl i see she's you. really really good i was so happy to see her at the rumble like that was awesome do you think she'll ever come to wwe eventually yeah i feel like she's holding the house down at tna um it seems like she really enjoys being there yeah especially with how the knockouts division is so I'm definitely excited to see more of that feud specifically. Like that got me really interested. Was that yeah? Because I saw it on Instagram and I was like, okay, I love yeah. this. 
And then uh, after that, they like obviously started fighting because what's a contract signing without fighting? And <laughs> they sl- they slammed her into the table. Jordan? Yeah. Oh. Steph or whatever they wrote. Yeah, Steph. She, For- uh, she, <laughs> she used to be a Persia Piranha in NXT. Oh. Indy's a uh, tag team partner. She and Indy that. Hartwell are actually best friends. Oh, I did not know that. Oh. But yeah, she did a um, basically did a rock bottom in into the table. Damn. And they were like, "Oh, a choke slam!" Like mm, that wasn't a choke slam. It was more of a rock bottom. But yeah, yeah so and I did not know that Matt and Chelsea Green were married, and that makes <laughs> what it makes so much sense. I don't know. I don't look into his life. I mean, Chelsea posts him all the time, though. That's all. Oh, I mean, I guess I just don't really see her post that often. But um, yeah, I didn't know that. But like, makes perfect sense. Yeah, they've been together for a while. Now. <laughs> but yeah, so I just wanted to show you that segment. And if you guys aren't watching TNA, hope that hope that intrigued you like it intrigued me. Because I remember when Chelsea got eliminated from the Rumble in, like, record time. Like, Matt was all over social media, like, my wife is always breaking records and stuff like that. (laughs) Yes. We we love a supportive king. (laughs) Yes. Oh, 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 what happened at the hotel? What happened? So, Chelsea was at... For WrestleMania weekend, Chelsea... I think it was WrestleMania weekend. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. She was at this, like, hotel... Um, and she was just vibing basically in the lobby, like just chilling. And the hotel staff asked her to leave because they thought she was an escort. Shut up. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then she, uh, the other day, apparently spoke to the staff and they off, they apologized to her and good. She As they said it was all good, but she was really mad and rightfully so. I'd be very mad. I'd be and extremely she, yeah. mad. And she even posted a picture of what she was wearing and she just looked, she was dressed normally. Like, it was so stupid. You know, I think, I I don't want to go on a tangent, but people talk about pretty privilege, but there's also the opposite of that, which Mm -hmm. is, I don't know what the wording would be, but when you're pretty, people assume things about you. Yeah. And to me, that is, that's so disgusting for them to just assume that she was an escort. What, just because she's pretty? And even like, if she was, like, <laughs> who cares? Like, what is she was just standing there minding her business. Like, well, I mean, there's there are certain rules and regulations about that type of thing, but I, yeah. I get your point. I just hate that they assume that. Like, that's so disrespectful. It's insane. Yeah. I literally, if I was her, I would have like shown them my Instagram. I would have freaking put them on blast because I'm petty, but uh, that's just me. Fortunately, I don't think I'll ever have that problem. So, Same. but you know, <laughs> pretty girl problems, they're real, you know, yeah, people, like, yeah. people like to make fun of it, but they're real. It's a thing. It's a thing. Yeah. Well, we'll go into our main topic today, which is the giraffe. I, honestly, this is one of my favorite times of the year. It's WrestleMania and then the draft. Well, yeah. Yeah. Because listen, the draft used to be really exciting. And I'm hoping that Triple H will bring that back. Because when you would see everybody in NXT, like you would see them all sitting together. And if they get called up and then they're like crying and happy for each other. And it's just like a good vibe. I want that back. It's interesting how like Alba and Isla were crying last year when they Mm -hmm. got drafted. And like, where are they now? (laughs) Yeah, that's a big oof. Uh, big L from Triple H there. But I didn't, I didn't like that, and I didn't like um, Indy being called up because they're well, because she was the champion, and then, yeah. and then they were the tag team champions. Mm-hmm. What are we doing? Why are we calling up all the champions? Like they need to be on the show. So let's please not do that. Um, well, if- they are gonna do that because Dragonoff's getting called up, and they're probably gonna call up Roxanne. So it's like. <laughs> So they're probably just gonna do it all over again. But how about Mr. Mr. Michaels? Please do not put your champions up to the main roster. Thanks. Yeah, Carmelo Hayes, I'm excited for. He's not champion anymore, so it makes sense. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's already put over Trick Williams, so his time is definitely up. Braun Breaker's already on the main roster. We love to mm-hmm. see that. 
I'm hoping that he and Baron will stay as a team for just a little bit longer because I was really liking them together. But yeah, I'm excited for Dragunov to be on the main roster. My only problem is he's still the champion. So mm -hmm. I have to assume that he's going to drop it to Trick Williams at spring break. -in. When is that? Next month, I think. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Can somebody uh, quote me on that? Because I think I'm wrong. But a uh, hot take. I don't think Trick is the person to dethrone Dragunov. Sorry, guys. The, the silence is loud. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I mean, I'm not like a big Trick Williams fan, but um, I mean, who would you who would you put then? I love Trick Williams. Let me just say that really quick. I just don't. Who would I? Uh... It's like who who have they built up enough to be in that spot right now? Honestly, like nobody. Exactly. If anything, Trick is definitely the most built up, especially after beating Carmelo clean. But Trick Williams beating Dragunov, it's just not believable to me. But <clears> if <throat> it happens, am I going to complain? Absolutely not. Like, Trick is going to have some banger matches as a champion. I'm very excited to see that. But I don't I know. Mean, I think it's Trick is a big guy. They could. Yeah, I think angle. it's. I think it's less to do with Trick and more of the fact that I am just going to be sad to see this title reign end. I think that's more what I'm going for. <laughs> you know what I mean? What was um, Braun and Baron's tag team name? Wasn't it something like like Lone Wolf and Dog or something? <laughs> the Wolf Dogs. Oh yeah, the Wolf Dogs. <laughs> that's hilarious. I love it. I love it. That was funny. It's hilarious, but like, yeah, but I like it. And you know what? I'm I'm a Baron, Cor Baron Corbin fan. I have yeah. been for a long time. It's like, well, I wasn't a fan uh, until he went bald. Oh, when he was in his era with the hair and the the lone wolf thing, I was yeah. not a fan. Um, but Baron Baron Corbin with the, like. Um, when he became homeless or whatever, and then like, and then won at the casino, like all that, that was chef's kiss. Loved I it. I needed that. <laughs> I loved it. Happy Corbin. You liked happy Corbin. <clears throat> well, we wow. were in the trenches with happy Corbin, man. The trenches. <clears throat> I didn't. Oh my God. Guys, I'm so sorry. Happy I'm, Corbin. I'm dying over here. Um, no, I didn't like the happy part. But, like, mm. I just, I liked the t-shirts. I liked the fedoras. I liked the vibe. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> He's killed it in NXT, and I'm so happy to see that, that the people are back behind him. And mm -hmm. people think that going to NXT is a downgrade or something. Like, no, it's not. Some of the superstars have had some of the best runs of their career in NXT. Like Mandy, Mandy. Rose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. One of the best NXT women's champions we've had. Like, Yep. I don't, you know, Carmelo Hayes has already made himself a mega star down there. Um, you know, it, there's some, it's different for some superstars. You know, LA Knight was pretty popular in NXT. That popular popularity luckily translated to the main roster and got mm -hmm. even bigger. It did take a while, but it got even bigger. So, you know, I saw the reason I say this is I saw a lot of people being like, oh, Sean Spears is an NXT. What a loser. Like, no, you just can't immediately send some people to the main roster. Like, mm -hmm. thank God some of y'all are not in booking because clearly you don't know how it works. I mean, you know, and what do we know? Like, we're two women who talk about women's wrestling. Like, we understand yeah. that. But at yeah. the same time, we understand that those decisions are made for a reason. And that's the difference. Y'all yeah. question decisions just to question them. We understand when we're questioning it. Like, mm -hmm. it... We're 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 higher thinkers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, for real. Um, Tyler mentioned that Seamus is returning on Monday. Let me just say, really excited for that. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm glad he's back. I've, I've missed Seamus. I've missed. Did you him. hear that Big E may never wrestle again? Oh, don't say that. Don't say that. He said he's still not medically cleared, and he don't know if he he doesn't know if he'll ever be in that. Side note: Did you see that he uh, went public with his girlfriend, who is Mia yeah! Yim's sister? They're so cute. Oh my god, they're so cute. I love them. Yeah, I do too. I don't even know her, and I love her because you have to be a type of person to be with Biggie. You know what I mean? You have to be able to keep up. <laughs> yes, he's a king, and we pray that one day he can come back. 
Yeah, seriously. I miss Biggie so, so much. Like, the New Day just doesn't feel complete without him. And also, like, apparently Biggie was, like, to Kofi and Xavier, like, I haven't been around for a while. If you guys want to find a new partner, you can. And apparently they immediately Mm -hmm. were just like, absolutely not. And I thought that was really sweet. Yeah, that is that is super sweet. Um, Sorry, we're getting sidetracked, but... We are. So, (laughs) what are some like shakeups that you think are going to happen for the draft? Um, And what are some like predictable ones for you? I think Jay will go back to SmackDown. Ooh, okay. Um, I think this draft is pretty, it's kind of hard. It's a little unpredictable. I think Judgment Day Mm -hmm. staying on Raw, Mm -hmm. that's probably just easier to keep them there. They might change over some of the tag teams, like A Town Down Under might go to Raw. Um, they need to do a lot with the women's division because the SmackDown women's division is top tier. Yeah, really, like, kind of wipes out the. I think Becky should stay on Raw. I think she's doing really good work there. I like her on there. Uh, maybe send Charlotte over to Raw whenever she comes back. I don't know. Cody may might go to SmackDown. I would like that. Mm-hmm. I would like that well, a lot. I mean- he needs to. He's the, the champion for that brand, right? I yeah, mean. pretty much. Yeah, um, and yeah, maybe Alba and Isla to Raw. Like, give me more women on Raw. Damage control to Raw. Maybe get them away from be- get them away from Bianca. She's beaten their asses so many times. Get mm-hmm. them away from her, please. Well, but her and Jade are going to take the tag team titles, so... Yeah, as they should. And I saw a lot of people being like, but what about the Kabuki Warriors? What about them? Their reign has not been good. Like, I mean, love It's them, not their but... fault. It's not their fault that their reign has not been good, but it hasn't been good. Take the titles off of them. Period. Um, I agree, Caden. I think the IC title and US title will stay where they are. Um, because Who's the US I... champion again? <sighs> Maddie. So I don't remember who it... Logan. Oh, well, <laughs> it's very forgettable. So, I mean, obviously, very forgettable title ring. Yep. You're excused. Should have ended at WrestleMania. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think he's going to stay on SmackDown. I feel like Fox... Oh, wait. They're not even on Fox anymore, right? What are they on? Are they still on Fox? I, I don't know. Maybe? <laughs> but I think SmackDown really just always for me, tends to have the higher caliber. Like, like Charlotte is always on SmackDown. Like, mm-hmm. I feel like it was very rare that she was on Raw. Like, obviously, she was a couple times because she won the Raw title, but I feel like she majority is on SmackDown. Same with Roman. Do you think Roman's going to get drafted, or do you think he's stepping away? Well, Roman's not advertised until, like, August again. Oh, so, I mean... So we're not going to see him for a long time. I think they're just going to keep him where he is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Cody's going to get drafted to SmackDown. Um, I was actually going to say Jimmy getting moved to Raw, but I can I can see Jay going back to SmackDown and helping his brother with this whole solo thing that's going on. Oh, my gosh. Paul Heyman acting. <laughs> Fantastic. I Just feel like the, he's going to start. Tears. He's going to start dyeing his hair gray again now that Roman's gone. Stop. Oh my gosh. That'd be hilarious. Can you believe but, that when Roman comes back, we're actually going to be cheering for him this time? I mean, I mean, yeah. Yeah. You're right. You're right. I mean, if it's Rock versus Roman, I'm cheering for Roman. I don't know about y'all, but. <laughs> well, it's going to be Rock versus Cody first. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we'll see. I don't, we'll see. I don't have anything nice to say about that. So, yeah. Um, I think Caden is saying keep Gunther on Raw, but I think he'll go to SmackDown. I would prefer him on SmackDown. I think that him and um, Ludwig and Vinci, I almost said Da Vinci, um, <laughs> him and Vinci, I think they should go to SmackDown. Um, mm. And Gunther will probably go after Cody, which I'm kind of here for. Um, I That's think what we want. Yeah, Liv needs to stay on Raw so that she can have her feud with Rhea. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, Chelsea Green and Piper Niven had just had a match on SmackDown, so maybe they'll get drafted over there. Maybe Nick Nick Aldis will will bring them over, and then who's who's on SmackDown from the women's tag teams? 
Alba and Isla. Are Caden Caden and Katana are on SmackDown too, right? Raw. They're on Raw. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think I think they should stay on Raw. I think they need to they need to boost the tag team division over there. Um let's see who else. I see a few people talking about Cameron Grimes in the comments. I can't express Oof. to you guys how frustrated I am with how they're treating him. He is such a fire talent. Obviously, you guys in the chat have and do watch NXT and know how good he is. And he's just been called up and he's done absolutely nothing. He's and become a inf- jobber. It's infuriating. Send him back to NXT because Shawn Michaels will cook with him. Cameron, he's amazing. And I like just he- get so frustrated when I see stuff like that. Yeah, like he is. And I just, I I was confused why he got called up in the first place. Like yeah. to me, it's just a really random choice. And the fact that he lost to Braun Breaker in less than three minutes was like, Okay, well, <laughs> oh, not okay. Yeah, so maybe have him go back to NXT. Um, as for NXT call ups, um, Carmelo yeah. Hayes, obviously, Carmelo. I mean, he's already had matches on SmackDown, so it's like he's probably gonna get drafted to SmackDown, which again, SmackDown is just cooking with talent. No. They have Braun, Carmelo, Jade, Roman, Cody, like it. Dragon off needs, probably goes to Raw for sure. Raw needs to do some serious drafting. I know. Like, I'm trying to think. I I would like the Street Profits and Bobby to go back to Raw. Yes. I, I think they should go back over there. Yeah. Um, because I th- I think I don't know. I just think they did better on Raw, especially Bobby. Like, I feel like Raw is like where he should be. Yeah, and they get more get, time over there, and mm-hmm. it's just better all around. Get them away from the Authors of Pain, because I cannot. Get me away from the Authors of Pain. <laughs> Get them off my TV, please. Like, sorry, not sorry. Uh, I, I just, I can't with this Final Testament thing and, like, the Grim Reaper that they bring with them to the ring. I just... Too far? Like, no, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> no, they're just, they're just not it for me, you know? Uh, you know what's really sad is that their wrestle like I I know we all say Dave Meltzer's a loser and he is but I thought it was really funny that the Philly street fight match got rated higher than Jimmy and Jay because that says a lot. <laughs> Jimmy and Jay got like 0. 0.75 stars. I mean, whatever. I don't care about that scale at all. That match was pretty bad though. <clears throat> what what other. What other women from SmackDown should go to Raw? I'm trying to think who's even on the roster. Like, I would, because there's so many that they don't put on TV. <laughs> mm, yeah. Um, I think, okay, here, this, I don't know if this is a hot take, but Mia Yim needs to be separated from the OC because. A hundred percent. Because, you know, I understand that Anderson and Gallows are two very, like, they're they're legends in in wrestling but she needs to be separated from them because they're a sinking ship right now they they are they're in nxt aren't they i don't know are they i don't watch them oh this is also fair since i back to nxt where the hell has she been like (laughs) she's on and she's on raw i believe and she is someone who would benefit from going back to NXT. And again, we don't think that's a bad thing. Some people nope. think it's a bad thing, but we don't. Because some it's people not. just do better in that environment. And that's fine. Yeah. NXT is amazing. And I think it's the best brand right now, in my opinion. Do you think... Now, putting putting your feelings about her aside, do you think that Cora Jade should get called up? No. Absolutely not. Oh I said put your feelings aside. <laughs> I am. And I I know that there are some Cora Jade fans in the chat, which I respect, but the main <laughs> roster girlies would absolutely embarrass the hell out of her because she's not good in the ring and she needs time to... And unfortunately for her, she hasn't had a lot of time to develop that because she keeps getting injured and that sucks. And I'm in no way am happy about that. Like I want her mm-hmm. to come back. I want her to heal fast. Um, but until she can actually have a decent match, she should not touch any championship gold and she should not see the main roster. Like Cora has everything 
but the wrestling skills. Like, I think she's pretty decent on the mic, but I'm sorry, she's not a good wrestler. She's not. Like, she needs... Roxanne is levels, leagues above her. And, yeah, Cora needs at least another year. And maybe she can be drafted up next year, but not anytime soon. I'm sorry. Okay, well, let's... Let's do a fun game right now. I'm looking at the, <laughs> the rosters. So I'm going to say a superstar and you tell me where you think they should go. Oh, okay. Okay. Bronson Reed. I forgot who that was for a second. Oh. Should he stay on Raw or go to SmackDown? Um, I keep him on Raw. I don't know. I don't really care about Bronson Reed. I don't care. I agree, Junior. She is. Um, Someone who I think needs to be separated from who they're currently with, Candice LeRae. Oh my god, yeah. I'm sorry, but like, this Candace whole, would cook on SmackDown. But this whole like, Candice turning heel and indie be like, being hesitant and like, oh my god, what are you doing? Like, it's just not, it's not working for me. Um, mm. So I think they just need to separate them at this point. Yeah. I think I think Candice would do good on SmackDown. Yes, absolutely. She's amazing. Um, Alpha Academy. Keep them on Raw. I like them on Raw. I agree. Yeah, yeah. Um, you already said damage control. You would want to go to raw to go to raw, right? Yeah. Let's see. That's mostly just because I want Bianca to stay on SmackDown, and I want them <laughs> far away from her. Oh, someone that I didn't think about before, but I don't even. I don't even. I haven't been watching NXT, so I don't know if she's still like active right now. Gigi Dolan. Um. Do you want her to be called up? If she was, it wouldn't be good for her. So, no, really? I think she needs more time. Yeah, she's not being booked that great right now. And the crowd doesn't seem to be super interested in her. I think she mm -hmm. needs more time in NXT. So, which I'm fine with that. I love <laughs> Gigi. Um, yeah, I mean, the matches that I saw when she was feuding with um, with JC, um, I enjoyed. I think she like, yeah. has, I think she has a lot of potential. Absolutely. Oh. I want to see her and Gigi, uh, her and JC reunite because those two as a tag team was fire. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Toxic Traction was good. We put them on our roster. When Remember when we did the, um, yeah. <laughs> we did, yeah, the picking of the roster. We put them there and then they literally yeah. broke up after that, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> we kind of jinxed that. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. We jinxed them. Um, um, DIY. They're on Raw, right? Mm -hmm. I would send them to SmackDown. I think yeah, I think they would they would do good on SmackDown. Um, we'll do we'll do one more. Let me find let me find a good one. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> um, the tag team of Pretty Deadly. <laughs> uh, I would send them to Raw. Really? I, I don't know. The, the, to me, their vibe is so good on SmackDown. And, like, I love their banter with Nick Aldis. I think it's so good. I just feel like Raw would be a bit... It would be better they'd get a little more time over there because they're not doing anything on SmackDown besides just, like, kind of showing up and being fun. I believe one of them is injured currently, so that's <laughs> mostly why. Oh, but, mm -hmm. yeah, I would put them on Raw yes. and see how it goes for a bit. Has he healed? I don't know. Well, because... It was um Elton. It was Elton Prince. He was he had like the shoulder injury, but then he was fine. I th oh, I is he? Oh, then why the hell were they not at WrestleMania? <laughs> what the because they lost their match against. Um, oh, who did they lose against? Was it A Town Down Under Street Profits? Oh, no, that's fine. I don't know. I don't know. I, I might be wrong. Junior, please fact check for us. <laughs> yeah, someone tell me. <laughs> um, and then. Well, people have been talking about a potential Alexa Bliss return with the uh, glitching on SmackDown with the Uncle Howdy stuff. I know people are not excited about um, Uncle Howdy stuff, especially right after the Bray Wyatt documentary. And, you know, we kind of should, should have just left that in the past. Um, but if mm. Alexa returns, I need it to be the goddess. I, I, can't, I, know. I can't anymore with this this evil thing that she's doing because it's it's been it's been stale and so and that's I need coming her... from an alexa stan y'all so it's not even just me saying that yeah that's coming from me 
I need her to come back at the goddess and be the queen that I know she is because she was slaying when she first came up on the main roster and she was doing so good. And I think it just killed her momentum and now she needs it back. Um, you know, and people in, in our comments on Instagram were like, she's not coming back. And I'm like, can yeah, you just is. like, she like, literally you, you, said she was. <laughs> yeah. Like, can you relax? So I, I, I don't know if I would want her to like even come back on, you know, obviously she shouldn't come back before she's ready. Let me just say that. No. But I think SummerSlam, if she was ready by then, would be such a great time for her to come back. Yeah, because it would be her hometown. It's the only hometown star we care about. Blonde YouTuber <gasps> I didn't even guy. think about that. Yeah, blonde YouTuber guy. Wait, isn't she from Columbus? It's the same shit, different toilet. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, wait. Now, like... Ugh, Let's now. just pretend it is so that we don't have to yeah. talk about blonde YouTuber guy. <laughs> yeah, and the fact that the Prime logo is going to be there again and... That drink is disgusting. I'm so sorry. And this coming from someone who has taste tested it. Yeah, the um, which one? The ice pop was fine. I said in my video I was gonna finish it, and I didn't because <laughs> too much. No. Sorry, guys. Don't spend your money on that. Like, damn. Buy Gatorade <laughs> for real, or or even Powerade, you know, or water. <laughs> yeah, true that. It's so um, much better. Yeah, but I hope Alex Bliss makes her return. Um. You know, when, when she's ready, and I know that she's enjoying being with her daughter and being with her husband. And by the way, her husband, he's so freaking nice. Like, I met him again a couple weeks ago, or maybe like a week ago. But um, he's just so nice. And yeah. Alexa was actually there where I was, but she, like, wasn't around. And I'm just like, mm. <laughs> the night that I was in her vicinity. That's crazy. <laughs> I didn't see her. I know, but um yeah so i'm rooting for her also to all the people who um are still mad at women's wrestling cry about it oh carmella yeah i forgot about carmella oh yeah i want her to come back soon too but she's she's still living her mom life too yes yes so but i'm trying to think when when would i want carmella to come I mean, again, whenever she's ready, but like... Yeah, I don't know if there's really like a staple point that it would be like, this is the time for her to come back. Like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I don't either. But Just kind of whenever she's ready, really. Yeah, even if it's just like on... If it's the Monday after SummerSlam or like, you know, or I don't even know. I don't even know because Carmella is such like a wild card. Yeah. Um, Junior, absolutely. We were robbed of a I Chelsea know. and Carmella tag team. Sonia Deville. <gasps> oh yeah, been- where has she been? Is she injured or something? She she was injured. Okay, um, but she's been hinting at her comeback. So I don't know. Could be soon. Could be soon. And I would love to see her and Chelsea again. I just think they were they were yeah. so good together. I do like Piper and Chelsea though. They find they found a way to make that work. Yeah, for sure. Well, do you have any final thoughts before we head out of here? Um, about the Uncle Howdy thing, like, I'm fine with it being brought back. My only thing is it's just not going to hit the same. That's mm-hmm. all. But if they, if that's how Bo Dallas wants to, like, you know, continue Bray Wyatt's legacy, I respect that. And I'm, I'll, I'll watch it. I'll be here for okay. it. I'll watch it. But, yeah, it's just not going to hit the same. Yeah, for sure. Oh, Raquel. Well, she, you know, is dealing with her skin issues, but I miss so, her. So I don't know. I don't know when she'll come back, but hopefully soon. And if she does come back, I would love for her to go to SmackDown and have beef with Jade. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Where the hell has Nia uh, Jax been? Uh, on Raw somewhere <laughs> making TikTok uh, videos. <laughs> I need her, my Nia Jax fix. Her TikTok videos are hilarious, though. I love her. She's amazing. We don't tolerate well, no Nia Jax slander here. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I love me some Nia Jax. <laughs> well, I'm super excited for the draft <clears throat> and what is going to be coming out of this Paul Levesque yeah. Triple H era. I think we're in for a wild ride, and hopefully that means more women's matches. Um, please, next WrestleMania, can we have more than three? 
out For of real out of 13 or 14 matches however many there were can we have more than three thank you yeah thank having you so said much, that that's ridiculous <laughs> yeah Having said that, thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to follow us on all of our social medias. Meet us in the ring um, on tick, X, whatever. X, Twitter. Twitter, whatever you call it. TikTok, Instagram. Make sure to follow both of us on those platforms and we will see you guys next Sunday. Bye. Logan Paul sucks. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>